Tell me right now, cause I wanna know if when you start to shut Everybody gonna put the blame, the blame on me. I'm tired of taking the blame for loving you. When, when, when you start to shut Everybody gonna put the blame, the blame on me. He said I'm loving you. It's the love that's true. Oh, oh, oh. Telling you, my darling, this is not an easy game. I'm a longing to see you. I want to know how you've been doing over yonder. I'm going to catch this flight. And when I reach my destination, I hope you'll be smiling. Longing to see me. Thought you'd drop me a line Just to say hello, my dear I'm doing fine Doesn't matter anyway now Cause when you start to show Everybody's gonna put the blame The blame on me Tired of taking the blame For something that I did to you You start to show Everybody's gonna put the blame Yeah. 
got a lot of big dreams. I've made a lot of bad moves. I know you could walk away, but you never do. I've made a lot of cold hearts. I've learned to smile and deceive. I know I'm hard to be around, but you never leave. Yeah. I'm not easy to understand, but you hold out your head. And you say you love me just as I am. You always treat me the best that you can. You say you Made a lot of heartaches. I found a lot of closed doors. When all the others have turned away, yo, yo. you love me more. We're getting you close to that time. More. We're getting close to that time. So the friends who are grabbing something, grab something to eat and head to your table. Getting close to that time when we. Showtime is coming up. Getting close to showtime. And you say you love me just as I am. You always treat me the best that you can. You say you want me, need me, love me, baby, just as I am. Just as I am.
met a lot of cold hearts. Learned to smile and deceive. I know I'm hard to be around, but you never leave. Yeah. I'm not easy to understand, but you hold on. Someone shy until I seen the rise. Still, I had to try. Yeah. Oh, yes. Let me get my words right and then approach her. Woman, I'll treat you like a man is supposed to. You'll never have to cry. No. I know everyone can relate to when they find a special someone. She's royal, yeah, so royal, and I want her in my life. I never know anyone so one of a kind, no. The way she moves to her own beat, she has the qualities of a queen. She's a queen. Try the beauty, no need no makeup to be a cutie. She's a queen, she's a queen. And when they ask what a good woman's made of, she's not afraid and ashamed of who she is. She's royal, yeah, so royal. And I need her. So one of a kind until the night that I see you rise. Ooh, a queen, so sweet. I can see it in her eyes, the way she smiles. Ooh, hey, yes I and I. I know the king and queen crown, see I'm tired, so I never leave your side. Just sleep with me through the trial times. Oh, and she says she no mind. All right, I know good man is hard to find. And she can't know about that giant line. That's why she has no ties at this time. Yeah, I know many men are trying. But she needs to be more than wine and dine because she's royal, yeah, so royal, and I want her in my life. I never knew anyone so divine. The way she moves to her own beat, she has the qualities of a queen. So supreme, ooh, ooh, but natural beauty, no need no makeup to be a cutie, she's a queen, so supreme, yeah, and when they ask what a good woman's made of, she's not afraid and ashamed of who she is. The night time, the city wings a sleepless eye. Hear her voice shake my window, sweet seducing sighs. Get me out into the night time, for walls won't hold me tonight. 
town It's just an apple Will you take a bite And if they say why, why Tell them that it's human nature Why, why Ain't no such a myth that way Oh, no, oh, I tell you why, why Tell them that it's human nature Why, why It doesn't do me that way Reaching out To a stranger Electric eyes are everywhere And I see that girl She knows I'm watching She likes the way I stare And if they say why, why Just tell them that it's human nature Why, why Does it do me that way If they say why, why Tell them that it's human nature Why, why You know if it do me that way I love living this way I love living this way Oh Across the morning, the city heart begins to beat. Reaching out, I touch her shoulder, dreaming of the street. And if they say why, why, tell them that it's human nature. Why, why, it doesn't do me that way. Oh. Thank you, Mr. DJ. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for supporting the Vinci Liberators in their third annual honoring ceremony. Sharing the mic with me this evening, my cousin, Lady M. A pleasant good evening to everyone. Um, as Cuz said, I'm Lady M, so I'll be a part of the hosting team this evening. And Lady M is um, on Fun City Radio, one of the radio stations that makes a whole thing, a whole lot of stuff happening. Success Radio, Kankadi Radio, Nice Radio. And I've got a little radio station in my house called Vibes Caribbean, One Big <laughs> Family. Yeah, a little radio station <laughs> in my house. So let me thank you for coming out. And um, Rutsi, Rutsi Monroe is um, one of the members of the Vinci Liberators. A group that has been making tremendous progress uh, from since their inception, doing some great stuff. We do a, a feed-in program on March 14th in St. Vincent and the Grandins, the Night Riders, and they have been um, the major supporters of what we do. So, Rutsi, um, come and give us a little um, prayer as we get it together. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, for Mr. Monroe. Good night. As we are about to pray, we ask that we bow our heads. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank thee for coming out here to, 
tonight and we hope that everything go as smoothly as possible this is our third annual award and we hope that everything go as well as possible we ask thee in Jesus name Amen thank you Mr. Mano thank you and um, in the first honoring ceremony the major honorary was Errol the manage Rose Valentine so it's very fitting that we bring the manage stateside to make the welcoming address put your hands together for the man age good afternoon ladies and gentlemen greetings in the name of the most high for those of you who don't know me i'm errol the manage use it is a pleasure and privilege to welcome you here tonight at our third honoring ceremony. On behalf of the Vinci Liberators Inc., I'm delighted and it's a privilege to be here to welcome you tonight. Thanks for coming. Vinci Liberators Inc. is an organization that tries, which is one of our objectives, to raise the standard of people or citizens the world over. We are committed towards raising the standard of living for people, not just in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, as I said before, but the world over. We provide material and financial assistance to people who are vulnerable, not just in St. Vincent. We try to keep this objective and make it possible by fundraising activities and outreach programs, one like that we have in now. So, we appreciate your support tonight. We want to welcome you and make you feel welcome by telling you we appreciate the support because the support is going towards a worthy cause and helping people. Tonight, we are celebrating our third annual honoring ceremony. Not to take up more of your time, our master of ceremonies tonight would be Randy D and Lady M. And our honorees tonight would be Douglas DeFreitas of Nice Radio, Mrs. Viola Shaka, who is not here yet, and Mrs. Annette Sadi, who are founding members of Vinci Liberators Inc. So I'd like you to enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Once again, thank you. Give it up. Give it up, Errol. The man age. And um, Lady M, the national anthems. And we've got a beautiful lady who's going to come stateside to share her voice with us. Ladies and gentlemen, Shanique is going to be doing the national anthems. Could you please stand for the national anthems? First, the national anthem of St. Vincent and the Grandines. Then we do the national anthem of the USA. Oh, say can you see by the darn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming 
whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight all oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets of red glare the bombs burst in and the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangle banner that wave for the land of Thank you, Shanique. Give it up again. Put your hands together for the beautiful Shanique. And she's going to come again this evening to um, do another number or two for us here. Yeah, um, Lydia. Thank you very much, Shanique. That was beautifully done. 
Okay. And here is Viola Shaka joining us, and ladies and gentlemen. Glad to, nice Glad to have you. Glad to have you, V. Welcome, welcome. Um, we're going to call the president of Vinci Liberators, uh, Doug Howard, to make a president's remark. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Doug Howard. Good night, everybody. Glad to see everybody here. Welcome to Vinci Liberators third annual ceremony. And they say, don't put a hand, don't put a mic in the hands of politicians and preachers. I ain't none of them, okay? <laughs> anyway, I am glad and privilege over the last five and a half years to lead Vince Liberators to what it is today. I am grateful for the opportunity given to me by the members of the group. It is something that I don't take lightly because from where we come to where we stand today. It's a metamorphosis that most people couldn't believe. But most of all, most of all, I am privileged to be a part of an organization that reach out and give back to the less fortunate among the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines in particularly, but not exclusively, because we reach out to people in disastrous time, like the country of Dominica, Anguilla, and right now we are in the process joining up with some other people, reaching out to the Bahamas, which is desperately in need of everything in a lot of the islands of the Bahamas. So, as I said before, it is a privilege, but sometimes is a tough, 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 tough job to do. Tonight, we're gonna honor three people. And uh, I think I want to start off with the male and the crowd, my friend, my brother, Mr. Douglas DeFreitas. Doug, Doug, you've been my friend for many years and is one of the very few people, very few people, when he sees certain things that I put up on Facebook because I'm a Facebook warrior. And Dougie will call me and tell me, Doug, I don't like what you did. I think you should pull it down or whatever. Between him and Alwyn, Dr. Alwyn Leacock is the only two people who calls me and pull me up on things when they think I go overboard. And you will think I will be mad with him. But that makes me know the kind of friend that I have in Douglas DeFreitas. And Douglas DeFreitas, through his company, BDS Nice, with his radio station, Nice Radio, has made it possible for Vinci Liberators to be where it is today. As I speak right now, this broadcast is going live on his radio station, first and foremost, and chance for to four other radio stations, Success Radio in Canada, Concordia Radio in Canada, Fun City Radio here in Brooklyn, New York, and Vibes Caribbean, Randy D Radio Station in St. Vincent. This broadcast is being carried on five radio stations right now. 
is one of the very few organizations have the access to that and all because of Douglas Defreitas. Somebody asked me today, what dog you do for you to honor him? I say, sometimes it's not what you, you think you know. A lot of the times it's things that you don't know because it's not everybody who do things and want the world to know what they do. And Dougie is one of those people. A lot of people don't give him credit. But when we listen and we in contact with the wall over, BDS Nice Radio is the leader from St. Vincent and the Grenadines in that. And with that, he hook up with Vinci Liberators and carry all, all, all of Vinci Liberators programs that we run, run by Douglas DeFreitas radio station. So it's because of him we are. Thank you, Dougie. And sometimes I don't think thanks is enough. It's just a simple word, but sometimes I don't think it means enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Miss Annette Sardine, she is the lady who makes Vinci Liberators form. Whether you believe it or not, it's up to you. I'm telling you the honest truth. She nagged me, Doug, we should form a group. Tell she, listen, I in a group already. We want, we are kill me. And when the time was right, and the blue green sun reaches one, Vince Liberators form because of Miss Annette Sadi. <laughs> when we help people who will never know us. When Vince Liberators do that, Miss Anet Sardine is the driving engine behind what you see. Vince Liberators. Both here and Vince Liberators in St. Vincent. She went to St. Vincent and started Vince Liberators in St. Vincent too. She went and did it. <laughs> Miss Sardine. I don't know how long I'll be here. You know, I plan on going to Africa to live, right? There's no doubt about it. And I have my attorney at war from Ghana, Nefertiti Ankara, sitting with us in the house. Wave your hand, Nefertiti. She come to make sure I'm going to Ghana. <laughs> All you laugh, but it's true. So, so Miss Sardin, I thank you for what you envision, what it is today. And our chaplain and one of the founding members of Vinci Liberators, who we honor in today, is Ms. Viola Shaka. And, and a lot of people credit. When we have a lot of our function, right? When we have a lot of our function, Viola is one of the people who makes a lot of what we do happen and make we look good. <laughs> Be <laughs> because because someti sometimes, and they, and they have a hard time with me. Yes. <laughs> yes, Casey. And we, and, and, and we are glad that you give her the privilege to spend a lot of time with us when she could be spending with you. So we thank you for that to Casey. And, 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 and tonight, this year we see fit to honor her because of all the work she has put into the group and, and for all that you continue to do and would continue to do. You don't have to be in New York to be a member of Finn Celebrators. This magazine 
was done 100% by our PRO, who is not here today. She right now is in Florida for the last couple of months. And a lot of the blasts you guys get and all you see, she's in Florida, Miss Rosalind Oliver. She did a lot of this and put things together. So you don't have to be in New York to be a member of Vince Liberators. And uh, with that, I would like to say thank you. Thank you again, Doggy. One more thing I want to say about Doggy, right? Just crossed my mind. Before Vince Liberators was formed in St. Vincent, we had a lot of stuff to distribute in St. Vincent. We had them there in holding and didn't know how to get them out because desperation breed a lot of things. And we got some desperate times in the country of St. Vincent sometimes. I didn't know how to get a particular set of stuff out to the Garden of Eden nursing home. We had a lot of pampers, a lot of sheets, pillowcases, towels, and those kind of stuff. And I said, Doggy, could you do us the honor by presenting this stuff to the Garden of Eden nursing home on behalf of Vince Liberators? That's before there was a Vince Liberators of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And before I finished telling him, he said, don't deal, dog. And they want to know why he's here tonight, some people. These are the things behind the scene. Thank you again, everybody, and welcome. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere, Mr. Howard. Don't go anywhere, because we need to introduce the Vince Liberators just about now. So starting with the, the Vice President of the Vinci Liberators, Mr. Sardine. I know he's in the bar, but we got to get him out of the bar. Mr. Sardine. Check, check. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Yeah. And Lady M is going to give you the names of the... Okay, I'm going to ask the Vinci Liberators members to put everything on hold just for a moment while we introduce the members to the audience here. So if you can just stop what you're doing for a moment, and as I call your name, you come up front so the audience can see who you are, the people behind all of this. All right, so that was Mr. Ian Sardi. First, we have the president, Mr. Doug Howard, followed by the vice president, Mr. Ian Sardine. Uh, Secretary Lavorne Williams. I think she's at the door. Please get her. And we have the treasurer here, Miss Annette Sardine. She's one of our honorees this evening. The chaplain, Viola Shaka. Another one of our honorees. Please stand, Miss Viola. Thank you. Uh, the public relations officer, Rosalyn Oliver. She's not here with us. We have Patricia Brown, committee member. If you can just welcome them as they come forward, that would be great. Let them feel, you know, welcome and grateful for what they've been doing. Uh, we have the man age, Errol Rose, committee member. Rodsell Monroe, committee member. Okay, and please welcome Lavon Williams, secretary. We have Maureen Borrow. Please come forward. Donald Kalzak. He's not here. He's not here with us this evening. Elliot Hines. Monica Franklin. Applause 
Renson Brown. And last but not least, Gregory Oliver. Olive. <laughs> Gregory Olive. All right, so this is the Vince Liberators team for the USA. And they're responsible for everything that has been going on over the last couple of years. Um, doing all the wonderful job. Uh, they, and they keep everything clear and in the open so that everyone can see what they do with the monies that they have collected, be it by donation or otherwise. They're always making things transparent so people can see. There's no question asked or anybody thinking otherwise. So um, this is the Vince Liberators team of USA. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Put your hands together. Put your hands together for the De Vinci Liberators. And I'm going to introduce the St. Vincent part of Vinci Liberators. We have Kenneth Skerritt. He's the president. We have Ted Roberts, the vice president. Crystal John, secretary. Arden, was it Alves? Treasurer. Yvette Jackson, chaplain. Rita Williams, PRO. Rita is here. Rita, stand. Thank you, Rita. Thank Rita you. Rita Williams. Okay, once she make herself available, ask her to come front come forward, please. Oh. Uh, can you please stand so that everyone can Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have Desri Prince, Assistant Secretary and the Treasurer, Monty Cupid, Assistant Public Relations Officer, Karen John, Galen Weeks, Judith Scrub Thompson, Maria Duncan, Suzette Garrick, Vivian Oliver, Sandra Phillips. Uh, Sandra is here, I was told. Pleased to meet you and welcome. We have Golden Dell Pledge, um, what is it, Nyoka Prince, Michelle Smith Doyle, and Fitzroy Boogies or Boggies. What is that? Burgies? Burgers. Burgers. Okay, so there you have it. Um, all of the members of Vince Liberators, both here in the U.S. and there in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Give it up, give it up for the Vinci Liberators. Yeah, yeah. A couple of years ago, I was at um, Granny Chung's, um, sitting with some friends, um, passing through. And Doug Howard came in and asked um, how I was doing. And I mentioned that I was doing good and that we had a feed-in program in St. Vincent and the Grandines where we were taking care of the less fortunate. He said, give me a piece of the action. <laughs> And the Vinci Liberators for the last five years has been supplying us, the Night Riders on Nice Radio, with barrels, two, three barrels a year, so that on March 14th, we can take care of our national heroes. It's National Heroes Day, and we take care of our national heroes every March 14th, where we feed the less fortunate from one end of St. Vincent to the other. We haven't gone into the Grenadines as yet, we take care of the Lois Pone at home, the mental health center. So I want you to put your hands together for the great job the Vinci Liberators continue to do. And um, before we get into the meat of the program, it's always important to give praises and thanks to the Almighty for making this possible. And one of the Vinci Liberators who was just introduced, his name is Gregory Olive. He sings in the, the Dynamite's Calypso tent. He's one of the guys who have been making a serious contribution to the art form of St. Vincent and the Grandines. Let's bring Mr. Olive on stage. Put your hands together for Gregory Olive. So before Gregory starts singing, 
Um, let me um, give you the Vince Liberators Inc. their vision, motto, and what they're about. Vince Liberators, if you have your booklet with you, it's on the very first page. Vince Liberators Inc. Inc. began March 21st, 2014. We are a 501c3 nonprofit organization whose main goal is to assist in improving the standard of and of living of citizens throughout the world. The organization will provide material and financial assistance to vulnerable individuals, which will provide immediate relief and stability in their lives and in the future. Help them lead productive lives. This will be done through a series of fundraising activities and outreach program. Vince Liberator's vision statement. Vince Liberators Inc. will encourage excellence in our members by providing opportunities for collaboration and professional development. Through the development of our members, we will be better equipped to impact lives one family at a time on a more consistent basis. And their motto is, we have a country to build. If we don't, who will?